Hey everyone, this is part 3 in a series of videos that walks you through the process of creating a Revit structural template. If you haven't checked out the previous videos and would like to see how I created the template file or how I set up the units, click the links in the description below. In this video, I'll be setting up my line weights. I come from an AutoCAD background and I still do some projects in AutoCAD. So my goal is to keep the styling in Revit similar to the styles I use in AutoCAD. And I believe that by keeping the styling between Revit and AutoCAD similar, my construction documentation will have a cohesive look regardless of which software I use. So let's, uh, I'm going to open up the templates that I've been working with. I'm going to go to the manage tab on the menu, go additional settings and line weights. So here are the line weights in Revit. There's model line weights, perspective line weights, and annotational line weights. Um, there are 16 uh, pens here and each one of these pens has a line weight in there for each scale. Here. Um, so like I said there's only 16 and you think that by clicking add you may be able to add an additional pen but unfortunately Revit doesn't allow you to do that for some reason um, this add button is only to add a scale um, so and in the perspective and annotation line weights there is no scale I'm not sure why Revit only has it for model line weights. Uh, but anyways, to copy the line weights for, that I use in AutoCAD, I'm going to need to copy the value from the CTV file um, that AutoCAD uses in the plot styles. So here I have the CTB file that I use in AutoCAD. I'm going to go to the form view. And I only use colors 1 through 9. Um, which they're called pens actually. Uh, so I use pen one through nine, and you can see here that the line weight value is uh, in millimeters. And I need the value to be in inches, as you can see here in the Revit table uh, that uses the inches. So to do that, I'm going to click Edit Line Weights and select the inches option and click OK. So now, as you can see, the line weight value is in inches, which will allow me to copy that value. So the easiest way that I've discovered to copy these values from the CTB file over to this table is going to Edit Line Weights and selecting Edit Line Weight and allows you to copy that. So just paste it into Revit. Um, I haven't been able to find a way to paste the values across the table so I need to uh, paste each value in each cell of the table. I'm going to have to do that for all the pens that I use up to nine and do that in perspective line weights as well as annotation line weights. So this is going to take a while, um, as you could tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here and do all the pacing into these tables from the CTB file, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back here, and I've pasted all the values from the CTB file over into the Revit line weights. 
So I'm just going to do a real quick verification. So 20 for pen 1, 20 across there, 20, 20. Uh, pen 2 is 71, 71 across there, 71, 71. Pen 3 is 98, 98. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to verify the remainder of the values off video. I don't believe they'll be of any value to you guys watching me do that. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part of the series, I will continue to work on the Revit template file and I will begin to start adding some style to the template with some line styles. Alright, so if you guys are interested in that, I'll catch you in that video.